Michigan International Speedway, home track to the Detroit Big Three, home today to the Carfax 250, the NASCAR Nationwide Series, the second event for the next generation car. Actually, it's quite a busy sports scene in Michigan. The Maize and Blue practice it up the road in Ann Arbor. The Lions play their preseason opener tonight. The Tigers are in a pennant race. But here at the track, it's all about the fast cars and the men and women who will wheel them. 43 drivers ready to go on this two-mile track. One to take home the trophy at the end of the day. Let's go trackside for the opening ceremony. Delivering today's invocation, Pastor Doug Bradshaw from Williamston Free Methodist Church. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for this great day to go racing. We ask that you would protect each driver and each crew member. We ask that you would protect and guide those men and women who defend our freedom, both in this country and around the world. And today, God, we pray for all the first responders, those men and women who risk their own lives to come to our aid. And we pray for those six Detroit firefighters who today are recovering from their injuries yesterday sustained. Be with them. We praise you for this day. In Jesus' name, amen. And now for our national anthem, please welcome Grand Rapids, Michigan's Mike Quick. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming then the rocket's red glare the bombs burst Very nice. So as the drivers begin to buckle in, let me mention again the weather. There is a 40% chance of a shower or thunderstorm through the day. We'll keep an eye on it and keep you posted if uh, weather could get to affecting this race. Getting set for the engines to fire at Michigan next. Carfax 250 at Michigan is brought to you by Carfax. Free at your used car dealer. Just say, show me the Carfax. And Nationwide Insurance. Enter this code at codespotter.com for a chance to win a Roush Ford Mustang. The Michigan International Speedway in the rolling Irish Hills, where the second race for the next generation NASCAR Nationwide Series car is about to begin. The Dodge Challenger, Ford Mustang, Chevy Impala, and Toyota Camry all shined up and ready to let those ponies run around this two-mile track. Pony cars, muscle cars, whatever you want to call them, they look great. They raced great at Daytona, and we're expecting a great race today here at Michigan. Question is, we just can't exactly tell you how it's going to unfold <laughs> because the element of the unknown is going to be big in this one. We do know, though, that our three men in the booth are all ready to bring you the unknown. Marty Reed, Andy Petrie, and uh, four-time Michigan winner Dale Jarrett. Gentlemen, you have answers to some of these questions? Well, we're going to try. As uh, Alan, we take a look at the top eight qualifiers. Six are nationwide regulars. We haven't seen that in an awfully long time. 
Well, Marty, this car is supposed to be the great equalizer, and so far it looks like it may be. Uh, if you're not a Joe Gibbs team, you wanted this to happen. I mean, they, they have really figured that old car out really good, and, and now that we've got this new car, some other teams have a little bit of hope that they can go in there without having any notes uh, to, to go by and nobody having any, that they can have a, a car that can go out here and win. Yeah, it'd be great to see these young guys be able to stay up there all day long and, and race hard with this new car. I think it's been very intriguing to listen during the Cowdown Show and see how many of these guys really don't know what to expect with this that should be fun for us but there is a big difference between two laps of qualifying and 125 in the race what's going to unfold uh, i think experience is going to uh, play out to be the the one thing that these guys aren't going to be able to overcome maybe in doing that you see guys like carl edwards uh, kevin harvick kyle bush and our, our pole sitter brad keselowski who have that experience to get it done i think we look at them being back up front again and, you know, these, we've got a bunch of guys that can, that can win. Uh, and, and guys, and some young guys like Trevor Bain and uh, Colin Brown and those guys, I, I feel like this might be the best opportunity for Trevor Bain to get a win. All right, let me put you on the spot. Who has the best finish? We have an 18-year-old Ryan Truex. We have uh, Colin Brown at age 21, Trevor Bain at 19. Who gets the best finish out of those Already three? went. <laughs> I think it's Trevor Bain. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to agree. Trevor Bain, he's been doing an awfully good job in that race car. I'd look for him to be up front all day. Well, and one other person, obviously, a lot of fans around the country be watching will be Danica Patrick as you know she's going to be starting a little bit further back in 33rd position so all the questions about to get answered as we're about to get ready to get this race underway here at Michigan International Speedway there are the 43 cars that made it through qualifying even though it did take a little longer because of all the technical ramifications let's go trackside right now and now, race fans, here were the most famous words in motorsports. Your Grand Marshals, Mike Stam and Saving Abel. Driver. Driver. An interesting way to give the command by the group, Saving Able, and our in-race reporter, well, the guy who picked up right where he left off last year, Brad Keselowski, won this race. Remember, he did it on a last lap pass. He won the pole in Daytona for the new car. It's his fifth of the year, eighth of his career. He's going to be our in-race reporter, and let's talk to him, DJ. Hey, Brad, Dale Jarrett, the ESPN, you have a copy? Yes, sir. Okay, buddy, you said in the countdown show for him to ask you a question. You need to be ready to answer it. And David in Tampa, Florida asked, this being the second time you drive the new Nationwide Series car, how difficult do you think it will be to go from Daytona to Michigan? Well, definitely a difficult transition. You know, uh, the one thing about Michigan, though, is it's a little bit of a drag track. And uh, Daytona, of course, is a lot of a drag track as far as what it takes to be fast. So uh, some carry over, but not all. The real test is going to be when we get to the Richmonds and those places. Uh, but then here again at Michigan, as the tires fall off, it's going to be about handling. So we're really going to see the best cars show up after about 15 to 20 laps on their tires. Hey, Brad, we saw a great finish last year in this race, one I know that you're very fond of. But not knowing exactly what you can and can't do with this car, can we anticipate maybe you getting back and seeing how easily it's going to be to pass and where you make and make that pass? Or you just plan to lead all 125 laps? Well, I think if you can lead every lap, that's what you need to do. You, you can kind of dictate the race when you're up front. Uh, you can dictate pit strategy, and you can stay out of trouble. So if we can, I'll keep my discount tire Dodge up front every lap. Okay, buddy. Good luck with that plan. Have a great day. And Andy's going to talk to your crew chief, Paul Wolf. Hey, Paul. Andy Petrie in the booth. Have you got us? No, loud and clear, Andy. Hey, Paul, if, if Brad's not able to keep that car up front all day and you need to make an adjustment, exactly how will you adjust this new car? No, it's definitely going to be a learning day for us. Um, you know, it's going to take a little different adjustment probably than the old car, but um, just really excited to uh, to have this new Dodge Challenger. Uh, we're two for two here in qualifying. We just got to uh, we got to work hard all day and uh, try to close the deal here and get us to victory lane. Okay, Paul. Good luck today. Thanks for talking to us. All right. Thanks, Andy.
And our over the wall reporter today is going to be Rick Yeomans. He's the rear tire changer in the 01 for Mike Wallace. There he is. Hey, Rick, got a question for you. Any unique characteristics on this new car that affect you guys down on pit road? Well, actually, we have a lot more room on these cars. There's a five inch longer wheelbase, more room for the fueler, nice wide open wheel openings. Uh, as soon as we get used to these longer studs, I think they're going to get quick. All right. Very interesting. You be safe down there. Have a great day. Thanks, Thanks for you too. talking to us. There's Mike Wallace as he's getting ready to roll out as the cars have just begun to roll off pit road and we'll step aside and when we come back we'll get this race underway here at Michigan.